Yeah, just went home here, just went some mowing. A couple of things today. Uh, bloody hot, bloody hot, what are we, quarter past five. Uh, had this thing done two good sized lawns with this today. Stinking hot. Um, this thing in one steep lawn performed like a beauty. The other one, I gave it a couple of breaks because it was just that bloody hot. All the lawns I mow are for set prices, so I'd rather go easy on my equipment. Um, just oil changed just the other day. Just check the oil of salve. It's bloody been hot, hot as. Um, also, just had this down the mail shop, just got big Colin Steve. Steve adjusted the valves for it, for me. You can see the gasket, fresh gasket go in there. Uh, they were a bit loose, he said. They were probably adjusted 150 hours ago. Um, so yeah, that's that's good because I could hear a little bit of a tick, and I thought I don't want to don't want to uh, bend a push rod or anything. So yeah, I just blown this out. Drive. Um, I haven't been using this much on lawns because um, the lawns are too big, and uh, so the smaller lawns I'll use it. And when I'm not as under the pump as much, but been under the pump pretty well, so just got to keep going. Um, little Frankie's in, he's had his third operation, um, uh, second one on his toe, well he had a toe taken off, he'll be home soon, little bloke, but they weren't happy with the parameters, parameters. so we don't want to fiddle fart around there, so he said just, he's got to go in and get done again, which he's done, when I took him up today it was just to get the stitches out, but then they got the paperwork back from the testing. So really didn't have the margin, so yeah. Also, um, working for myself. Uh, want a real quick one on it, my anxiety. Uh, my anxiety levels have been an all time low, which has really been good. Um, basically, I haven't suffered any reasonable size, size anxiety attacks now for say four months, and they're only they are mild compared to the bad ones I was having. So, really, it's just about what I was just going to say, and I've done another video, but I, I probably just want to cut it a bit shorter. Uh, so, what, what I think it is, is, um, righty, I've been nearly working for myself now. It'll be, I think, March next year, it'll be three years uh, since I left Council, uh, Sunshine Coast Council. And, um, uh, look, it's all about, I'm not saying there's a wrong or a right or anything like that, but there probably comes a time in your life where you probably, I think as you get older, you probably just need to take charge of your own, of your own, um, your own life. Well, that's what I had to do in here. Not everyone's the same, obviously. Uh, I wanted to run my own business and I was having a lot of anxiety attacks. So, But now it's pretty well uh, people I don't want to deal with within my mowing. Now, I just, um, I don't take the jobs on or if they just don't work out or whatever else, I, I'll just, um, I'll just drop the jobs, you know, because I, I don't need, yeah. one thing good about working for yourself, you can choose who you work for. Um, that's the main, main aim of what I was getting at. Um, so yeah, for me, I've never looked back. Um, and you know, I know plenty of people have gone out working for themselves. No, no, it's not only council. It's 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 can be any organisation. You, you just might not. Things change as you get older. Uh, you might not fit in. Fit in uh, with whoever, and uh, it's just when you got to move on. It's just time to move on. That's one thing I can just say to people in my life is um, if things aren't working out well for you, the best thing you can do is you can move on and. Uh, Go and have a crack at something else, and it's really good at the moment because there's work everywhere. I mean, that's in in a lot most industries, and uh, yeah, so that's what you got to do. But yeah, just you know, to, because I, I think with stress and everything, I think oh, well, I don't think I know uh, that old saying: you're a long time dead, and if you get stressed, you can you can shorten your life up pretty severely, and uh, no one wants to do that. I certainly don't want to. In here, look at this beautiful barra. What an engine! What an engine! Why aren't we still producing these and sending these all over the world? I don't know. 
we've probably got one of the best inline sixes here in Australia with the development that went on this from 1960 right through to end of making. One of the best six cylinder engines in the world. And um, we don't make them anymore. And uh, old garbage dump ones have been, not garbage dump, wreckers ones have been transported all over the world because they can take some grunt. But I'm gonna leave it at that. They can take some boost. And depending on how you want to build them, they can take heaps of boost and produce a lot of power. So, anyhow, and that little bit of bit of um, information for the day. Another very hot day, and they were saying hotter tomorrow. So I've lost a lot of sweat, and I've got another mower coming. I'm going to put a canopy on it, just get me, myself out of the burning sun, because it's that intense. So I'm going to leave it at that, Mick from Swenson Mowing. A little bit of anxiety talk, Swenson Mick. You all have a lovely day. Swenson Mick out.